In this tutorial you will create a help bar in Unreal Engine 5 and health pickups. So for example, when I go over these health pickups my health is restored. I can also change the color and about to die it restarts the level. Let's open our content browser, go to third person blueprints and open up our character. Inside of the event graph of our character find some empty space where you can work in. First we are going to create a variable. Click the plus icon and let's name this one health. Instead of a boolean we need a float. Click float. Hit compile. And instead of zero health, let's say we want 100 health. You can also change this, but 100 is pretty standard for most games. Then right click and let's look for an input. For example, the F of the keyboard. Now, later on, you change this to apply damage or anything that happens in your game. For testing purposes, we will go with the F key so that works pretty fast. Okay, when I hit the key, I want to set my new health. So I'll drag this out. We are going to set the health. Namely, now we're going to get the health, and we're going to subtract, so minus subtract. Let's say we deal 20 damage when we hit this key, and connect this to the health. So I press my key, I set my health, and I decrease it by 20. Now let's also show this on screen. So print string for example, and let's get the health once more. Okay, and now we're going to see this health upon screen. Now when I hit the F key on my keyboard, here on top, you can see the health changing. So 80, 60, 40, and then you can see we go into the minus. Now we don't want that. Let's say when he reaches zero health or below, he will restart the level. So let's create a branch, B click for a branch, and let's give this a condition. Namely, get health, control drag to get. If the health is zero or equal, connect this up to zero, then from true, open level by object reference, and let's select he restarts the same level, or you can go to a game over screen or something like this. And now when I hit play, 80, 60, once more, you can check this here, 20, and he's dead. And then he restarts, or you can open any menu that you would like for this logic. Instead of showing my print string on screen, I want a decent health bar. So in the content drawer, let's right click and create a new folder and let's name this UI for user interface. Now right click, look for user interface and let's create a widget blueprint. Click user widget, select, and let's name this WB from widget blueprint underscore health bar. Let's open this one up and I like to put this right here. First thing we will need is a canvas panel. Drag the canvas panel on top of the health bar. And then let's look for horizontal box. And also drag them right there. Inside of this horizontal box, we're going to drag a text. And with this selected, let's name this one health. We can also, underneath font, increase the font size a bit, but I like the default one. But I like to change the outline size to one, so we get a little small black border around this. So when you have white backgrounds, you can still see the health variable. Then we're going to need, namely, a progress bar. And also drag this on the horizontal box. Click this and choose here from size fill. So this will fill when you have the horizontal box selected and it will adapt to the size. Let's set it something like this. Click the horizontal box and let's anchor this. Control click in the middle on top. You can also change these positions so it isn't glued to the top of the screen, but a little bit below. Okay, this will do. Now with the progress bar selected, you can also change the style with your own images, or you can also look here underneath appearance and the fill color opacity and change it to green, for example. Hit OK. But right now you don't see green, which is usually when our player health is still OK. But we need to see this in percentage. Zero is no health and one is full health. Let's start the game with full health at 1 instead of 0, and then hit compile. Now we need to update our percentage in the game when our player takes damage. Usually you go to bind create binding, but not today, because this will take a lot of effort for our game engine, because this will update every tick. And we only want to update our game health when our player takes damage. Then for a smart way to update our health bar, click in the graph, delete this chunk here, and let's right click, add custom event, because we are going to create our own. And let's name this update health bar. With this one selected, we are going to create here an input. And let's name this one also health. Instead of a boolean, let's change this to float. Hit compile. Now from our health, 
let's divide this by 100. And the reason why I do this, when I go back to designer, select my health bar, you see the percentage is 1, because 0 is no health and 1 is full health, but our health here in the variable is 100. So for our health to the percentage, we have to divide by 100. Then we are going to need a reference to our progress bar, get the progress, and then set percent and connect this one up. And the percent will be connected to the health that we divided by 100. This will work fine, but we can also tweak this a bit. So when our player deals a lot of damage, we can also make the color of our bar red. So we can also drag out of here, set color, fill and opacity, connect these ones up. And from the pin in color, we can drag off and type select. Not underneath color, but underneath utilities, hit the select one. And for our index, we go back to our health because that will be the index and look for if it is less or equal than, let's say 40, I want to change the color to red. Connect this one up. So when this is false, we need to set this to green. Also pull up this bar to see this in green. And when this is true, when the health is less or equal to 40, then we want to see a red bar. We are in grave danger and hit compile. Now this is all set up. Go back to your third person character or any other that you are working with and let's create a widget up on screen. So from again play, let's create the widget. So when our level is created, our widget is also created, choose the health bar widget. Then add to viewport, make sure both pins are connected and we will also need a reference to this health bar. So right click, promote the variable and let's name this health bar reference and you can see it's right here so connect this one up and right now we can have a reference to this one so we no longer need the print string because this is ugly we want our fancy health bar which updates so get this part delete this and in between the set health and the branch we are going to need the health bar reference so get health bar reference drag out of this and look for update health bar because that was the name that I gave it. And then connect from here and here. And we also need a reference to our health from here and connect this to the health of our update health bar. Hit compile, play, and right now this looks beautiful. So now when I hit F key, you can see the health changing and it's going to red and it restarts the game. And when the game is restarted, I can do this all over again. So our health bar is working right now. And as a very cool bonus, I'm also going to show how to create an item for health bar pickups. So right click, blueprint cast, this will be an actor. And its name is BP pickup item or health pickup, anything that you would like. I like to dock this here. Let's add a cube for a placeholder image. Cube will do fine. Okay, great. Now also add a box collision for this. So box collision, this will be fine. Have this selected and let's scale this up so our player can overlap with it. It needs to be a bit bigger than our cube here. Okay, this will do. Compile, let's drag this inside of our level right here. And with all drag, let's duplicate so I can test this two times when I'm playing. One will do in your game or as many times as you would like. Have the box selected, go to here, on component begin overlap and click this one. Other actor, cast to third person character, because if our character overlaps, then something needs to happen. Namely, from here, set health. We need to set the health from this class. And let's set this health to 100. Now, we also need to update our bar. So, from here, get the health bar reference, get it. And then, update health bar. This was the function we created for this. Connect this one up. And also don't forget the health to the health right here. Hit compile. And one more thing, we need to destroy the actor, which will be our cube, which will be the item that we picked up. Now when I hit play, I can decrease the health. And you can see my health is restored. And I'm almost about to die. And there's one more. Okay, and then finally, I can die when these things run out. So to make it way more cooler, we can go back to our viewport. And we had our placeholder right here. So what I'm going to do now is add a static mesh and let's go to the content drawer and add a static mesh. So I found this model right here. I can import this one to my game. Let's say I want this health pickup cross right here. 
I'm going to select my static mesh. Then underneath static mesh, let's look for this cross right here. And you can see this is way too big. So scale it up to the size of the cube that I used before. Okay, this will do. And my box now will be on my new static mesh so I can lead my cube and make sure it is aligned like this. Okay, now my box seems to be a bit smaller. So I'm going to increase this once more, hit compile. Check again, okay, this size will do. And now when I hit play, let's decrease my health once more. You can see this works just fine. Now you can also make this a little bit more fancier because that is just how we are. So find some room here in the event graph and let's go really fancy. For example, on event tick, let's grab a reference to our static mesh, drag this out and then add world rotation. And let's change the Z value here to one, for example. Now, this is not very performant on event tick, but one item won't matter. And now when I hit play, wow, they are spinning. And this starting to look more and more like a real game with a health bar. We can die or we can get saved by one of these. And this is how you can create health pickups, health bar and changing health colors and be able to die once more inside of your game in Unreal Engine 5. Hope you liked this tutorial. More on my channel, so subscribe to see when they go live.